Good morning. Going to Disneyland in California Adventure today. I had asked the front desk which is the best way to get there. And they said, go out this door, take a left, and then another left. And honestly, that doesn't make much sense to me because the parks are that way. So I'm so confused. I'm just going to walk through downtown Disney again, and then when I leave tonight, I'll go the other way. It looks really easy, but maybe they meant make. I asked her twice, left and then to the left. So it could have been a right and then two lefts. I don't know. But, anyways, we'll get there. All right, we did it. We're here. We are in Disneyland. And they took my picture when I walked in. So, how cool was that? I don't know what that was for. Probably every time someone scans in, so often they take a picture, but pretty awesome. Oh, wow. There's just so much history. It's so cool, and you have Minnie to greet you. All right, let's do this. Let's, oh. I'm beyond excited. I'm gonna get a map because I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going, but for the most part. Because if it's anything like the Magic Kingdom, then it'll be somewhat similar. So let's grab the map. Oh, this is so cool. All right, enough of me. Great moments with Mr. Lincoln. Oh, look! Hi guys! Hi Chip! There's Goofy and Mickey's over there too. Hi guys! Hi Chip! Wow, what a greeting. Oh, I just saw Cinderella Castle. Or, sorry, Sleeping Beauty Castle. I'm probably going to do that. I'll make several Disney World references while I'm here. I'll try not to. Oh, the fire station has a facade over it. I won't be able to see where Walt's office is. That's okay. So, the last time I was in Disneyland was 20 years ago. I was here for work, and I just had the day. And I don't think I did DCA. I think it was just Disneyland. I could be wrong. I'd have to go back and dig up some old pictures because 20 years ago our phones weren't that cool. Oh, there's Walt and Mickey. Oh, there's a Christmas store right here. I didn't know that. Is it a Christmas store? Holiday shop, yeah? Thunder Mountain over there. Let's get in line. Let's get a picture with the creator himself. Can't even say that without getting misty yet. And this looks like oh, the Matterhorn over there. All right, so I just booked my very first, my first Disneyland Lightning Lane for Space Mountain. But uh, that's at nine o'clock, so I'm gonna go ride Pirates. It's a five-minute wait. Kristen, there's the Jungle Cruise. Should I go and ride that now? Looks like there's literally no line. Oh no, that says exit only. But it still looks like there's no line. Oh, I see pirates. 
This looks like a place where I can potentially get Dole Whips, maybe? I don't know. It's so out of my element here. No, that's barbecue. No Dole Whips over there. Indiana Jones, I wonder if that's a ride. I probably should have done my homework. Five minute wait. So Ben's first ride in Disney World was Pirates, and my first ride in Disneyland as a dad will be Pirates. There's a Pirates water smell. Look at that, the boats are like right out here. It don't looks like it's just me. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. Oh. And watch the I'm gonna get away because I'm set something wet. Right. Here we go. I do remember there was two of them. Oh boy. Just got off of Pirates of the Caribbean, and it was awesome. It was way longer than uh, it, than the than Disney World, and it was also darker. So um, I think kids have been more likely to be scared of it. But you know, they're pirates. But now it is time for my lightning lane for Space Mountain. So I'm gonna head back across and go do that. On our way to Tomorrowland, let's walk by Sleeping Beauty Castle. Another thing about that Pirates ride, I definitely got wetter. Maybe I'll go ride Star Tours as well, the line's not too long. Alright, it's only a five minute wait for Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, so let's go do that. Buzz Lightyear Space Hey Buzz! Same one. So it looks like one of the differences between the rides already are the blasters are a lot smaller and they fold up as opposed to coming in, like on an angle. Okay, so
so I just got off of uh, Buzz Lightyear. Uh, I don't even remember what it was called, but it's not Astro Orbiters. Uh, but it's better than Astro Orbiters because the space rays, the, they're smaller. You can move them around, they're not attached. And then also the targets provide haptic feedback and the targets provide visual feedback. So you really, it's more, it's very, it's more immersive. Um, gonna give that, gonna give the hat to Disneyland on that one as well. Um, I'm right across from Mickey's Star Trader, well, the Star Trader. And then there's Space Mountain over there. And then there's Alien Pizza Planet, which I kind of feel I need to go get a piece of pizza from, although it's probably too early for pizza. Let's go take a walk into Star Trader. The Star Trader, this is one of my favorite places in uh, the Magic Kingdom, so I'm sure it will not disappoint here as well. well that's a pretty cool Ahsoka shirt for Charlotte. I wonder if I can probably exchange my Galactic Trading Post shirt here. Or my, uh, what do you call it? My Batu shirt that I got earlier. Those are water bottles, lightsaber water bottles, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, I see a thing to ding my magic band. I'm excited. If this is any indication on how low, <laughs> low the attendance is today, I'm like already here. You are now ready for your intergalactic adventure. All right, let's go to space. So one thing I noticed right off the bat, the Rye vehicles are two-seaters, where in the Magic Kingdom, they're one. Uh, going on, it's a small world. And it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna get my jacket soon. raining here in Disneyland, but hopefully it's not raining in Mickey's Toontown. That's where we're headed. Believe Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is in here. You gotta have a lane. And I do not have a lightning lane for it, but I will ride it. If it's under 30 minutes. Oh, I'm literally looking right at it. And there comes the sun. Oh, there's the Roger Rabbit ride too. To do both of those. Let's see how long the standby is. It's looking like 35 minutes. Ugh. So unfortunately, Runaway Railway just broke down. They said it's going to be a minimum of an hour. I'm getting pretty hungry, so let's see what we can find to eat. Mickey's Toontown. I see Cafe Daisy over there. Let's get some snacks. Can't go wrong with a good old-fashioned hot dog. Maybe we'll do that. All right, I remembered my camera, that, or my stand this time. So this will be a lot easier. But I got the Daisy dressed up dog. And I got the Joffrey's special cold burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it comes with a side of house made chips, which I already have one of these, and these are delicious. This is Joffrey's coffee with basically like salt and caramel. Um, it's very sweet, but pretty good. So let's try this dressed up daisy dog. Hot dog's really good. It's 
So it's a hot dog with mac and cheese and house made chips on top. Kind of like a chili cheese sauce. It's pretty good. So here's Minnie's house. And you can go in and eat Minnie. It's a 45 minute wait. But you can go meet Minnie in her own house and you can go meet Mickey in his house, which ironically enough is a shorter minute, shorter wait time to meet Mickey. There's Mickey's house. And there's Minnie's house. So maybe I was... Well, to say I was too young to appreciate doesn't really make sense. But from a parent's perspective, Mickey's Toontown is an awesome place to just come and hang out with your kids because there is plenty of things for them to do. And there are places to meet Mickey and Minnie. Like, look at this playground over here. I remember when I was younger, they had Mickey's Toontown, but like I said, I don't remember it being like this. So change of plans, Mickey and Minnie's is back up. And it's only a 25 minute wait this time. So it's like half the wait time that it was before. So we're gonna go. Costumes for the princess and the papa. For the prince and the papa rather, not the princess. Oh, and there's the uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse uh, setup. We'll check that out in just a second. So this is the Mickey uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. This is like the uh, try it again. So this is the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Handy Helpers. The Mouse Could Do Her. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen that show. Because um, Ben doesn't really watch it anymore. But uh, there's the Mouse Could Do Her. And that's where Toodles plugs in right there. And that's where they Mouse Could Do stuff. <laughs> well, hey, Chuby. Mickey and Minnie runs away, Runaway Railway, it, uh, it dumps you off into a store. And it's all here. Also like some train stuff, there's some cool Runaway Railway uh, lounge flies that I saw over there. All right, I'm gonna uh, consult my Disneyland Experience app and uh, see where I go next. So I've got a little time to kill before my lightning lane for Matterhorn, so let's head on over to Galaxy's Edge. And the walkway to Galaxy's Edge is right at the split of Frontierland. So you walk through something that looks like a covered bridge, and then you are on Batu. I do not think 
I will be called upon by the resistance while I'm here. But if I am, I am. So I'll let you off right by the first order encampment. Blue and green milk is in the exact same spot. Living by Disney's house looks the same. All this is her California residence, and that looks like Ogus Cantina over there. I wish I get a blue milk. Blue and green milk while I'm here. It's kind of cold, but we'll see. I didn't get one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We'll see what happens here. I think... They're distracted by some children. Alright. They were distracted. Not onto my presence at all. Guessing this is Oga's. Oh, this is a single rider. And only 30 minutes for Smuggler's Run. Should I go do that? Oh, this Millennium Falcon seems so much smaller. But it's probably not. It's probably the same size. Just the area in Florida is uh, probably bigger. Maybe I'll try the single rider and see how quick that goes. Yeah! Right sounds! Oh, well, that was a quick walk around. Right, pilot. Push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left. Oh, no! yeah! Stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly out. Well, no trip to Batu. To Batu would be complete without a visit to Doc Arndar. So let's go see if the Doc's in. Because he wasn't in Orlando. There he is. Hey, Doc. I mean, that's Doc's cousin. He can't be in both places, right? So this is the future site of Tiana's Bayou Adventure, the former site of Splash Mountain. And there's the Haunted Mansion that is currently down. Alright, will do. Thank you so much. It's Captain Hook just hanging out in the park. I saw Peter Pan back there too, but he was posing with people. All right, I'm gonna go ride the Matterhorn. And as I mentioned before, when I was here 20 years ago, the Matterhorn was down. So I've never actually ridden this one. All the rides that I've been on today, I've been on before, so this will be a brand new one. Here we go on the Matterhorn. I just got off the Matterhorn. That was fun. The Yeti comes out a couple times, so that was a little scary and unexpected. But it was fun. It was really great to go on one of the original rides. It was very nostalgic. You know, while I was on it, I was just thinking, like, this was one of the first rides in Disneyland. Like, the first thrill rides. So, it's pretty fun. Super cool. I'm walking through the queue for Indiana Jones. Yeah. It's very dark in here. Themed very well. Of course, in true Disney fashion. Hey, on the other tab.
excited enough to be tourists. Well, I'm pretty sure Kristen can't use any of that, but that was fantastic. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Woo. That was like the mummy ride. That was really fun. That was a lot of fun, wow. Good ride, for sure. All right, let's go ride Thunder Mountain. Uh, I'm done here at Disneyland. I'm going to head on over to DCA and do the food and wine, but I feel that I would be remiss if I did not go to get a piece of pizza at Pizza Planet. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I went to Pizza Planet. Here's my pizza. This is the Supernova Special. This is a artichoke and pesto white pizza. I got some Mountain Berry Blast. And they have these really cool reusable Disney Parks um, silver. So I bought a package of that. I'm going to hold you like this. And there was olives on this pizza, so it is what it is. That is delicious. I love artichokes. I feel like they're an underappreciated under vegetable. I don't even care about the olive. Mm. That is delicious. So I'm going to eat my pizza here and then head on over to DCA and do food and wine. All right, so I know I was planning on going and eating at Food and Wine, but I do have all tomorrow to do that too. But I was walking out of Tomorrowland and I saw a cart and they had both the cream cheese and the jalapeno cheese stuffed pretzel. I didn't know which one to get. I said to the cast member, I love them both. There's no wrong answer, so you pick. So I don't know which pretzel I'm holding right now. I'm gonna say it looks like the cream cheese, okay? Looks like the cream cheese stuff pretzel, but let's find out. Cream cheese stuff pretzel. Oh, so good. But of course, now that I've got this one, I want to go back and get the jalapeno one. So quicker. I may have to make a special trip back here tomorrow just for the jalapeno stuff pretzel. Honestly. So now the question is now that I'm eating more food, do I head on over to Galaxy's Edge and get that slushy and then go to DCA? I don't know. I don't know. I probably should, right? All right, I did it. I had to come back for it. The Pula Blossom Slushy. It is very pretty. Ooh. That is good. It's got like cold brew and uh, horchata and uh, like a plant base. Well, you saw that. I don't need to tell you. You saw it. I showed it to you. Oh, Soak is over there. I have not seen the Mando walking around or any of the other. Um, oh, I think I think this is the Bind Hunters Guild. At least it would make sense if it was. Oh, it is. So what you do with the Bounty Hunters Guild is you tap your magic band over here, and then they give you a bounty, and you go find them in Galaxy's Edge, and then you redeem them over here turn them in and get your collector credits. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, sometimes the resistance has me 
track down some bounties. In fact, the last time they sent me after the big guy. And uh, I caught him and collected my credits. It was off books for the resistance. All right, I'm gonna drink my Pula slushy, which I don't know why it's called the Pula slushy, and maybe it's not a, maybe it has nothing to do with nubs. So I want to call it a Pooba slushy, because nubs from the, uh, kid, I can't even remember the kid, what the kid show is called. Uh, he's a Pooba from, uh, he's a Poobian from Pooba. All right, on to DCA. Actually, I just got word from my editor, which is Kristen, by the way, that we need to split this vlog into two pieces. Uh, so tune in next week for, uh, for DCA. Uh, if you liked the video so far, or if you just liked it in general, uh, like, subscribe, comment below, and uh, we'll see you in DCA.